Welcome to the herd nerd. Um, no, with a with a nerd herd. Hey, Plant Popper here, and I'm gonna teach you how to make the uh, lock system that we used in our old season of the Chronicles, the one that was held on Silent Mystification Server. So many of you might have seen it. Well, you might have seen this before. You input the correct code. Go into this room. Oh, if I can get. And then you press this button here. It checks if you put in the right code, and then it'll, it'll let you through. And if you haven't, you will be punished, basically. And then if you get the, so I'll just show you what happens if you get the code wrong. You go in, you press the button, and you get shot repeatedly. This is quite loud. Just wait for it to finish. Okay. Um, yeah, this is slightly changed from the one we had on Silent Mist server. On this one, I've put uh, three dispensers in instead of the trap door because uh, I just wanted to try something new, basically. And the trap door was a bit, a bit too messy to put in. You couldn't have a flat floor. But if you want to put that in, feel free instead of this. Or as well as this, but wouldn't really be much point in that now, would there? Okay, so I'll uh, continue continue to the tutorial. For the tutorial, I'll be doing a input of uh, four buttons, um, but you can put it to as many as you want. So yeah, I put a ring like this around with however many you want in the middle torches like that and buttons on the bottom and the top come around the other side here box like that All right and now that has to be alternating redstone and repeaters and then where you've got the repeaters put another block and redstone like that torches on the back of everyone and then redstone underneath each torch alternating with redstone and repeaters again and then repeaters there and redstone there this is basically uh, this is making the buttons act like levers and this means that when you go in you can reset it not the right you can make it reset which is something you can't do with levers it's a bit of a pain but it's quite compact and quite simple next we'll move on to the code Right, to start off, leave a gap here and just drag a line of material like that. Now, because there's difference in lengths for each one, you're going to have two different ways of having a torch being on and two different ways of having one being off. So for this, I'll have these both in the off state. So like this. And when a torch, when one of these is off, if you want the code to be off, off, Back here, you have to put two torches like so. And then for the ones where it's, for the shorter ones, you've got to put a repeater like that. And for the ones that want you want to be on, so just in case I didn't tell you before, this is how you turn torches on when they're off. So in case, if you want them like that, then you put, for the short ones, you put a repeater going into here. But for these ones, you have to knock out this block and put a repeat going in like that. Now just wire everything up with redstone. And there you have your code. So this will be off off on on. And if we have an incorrect code, you'll see that the redstone wire here is activated. Next we'll move on to uh building this room here and checking that the code is correct. Right, so um start off by building your door frame like so and you want you want this to uh, make sure you put the door the right right way around on this like that because when they're in this room we want there to be nowhere for the person to hide from traps or stuff like that if they get the code wrong so that's the reason we have a steel door and then for this bit here I put it two in so that you can't stand in the door and press it because if it was just on the wall here you could quite 
well, I say quite easily, I won't be able to do it now. But yeah, you could quite easily activate it like that. So we want it to make, to uh, ensure that if someone gets the code wrong, that then, that they get punished. So, uh, build out like so, this is where the button will be. And I'll just cover that over. And finish off the room. Build another door frame here and have the door like that so it's flush with this wall. Same as here. And then on this side, this, uh, I'll leave this side open for now because that's where we'll put our trap later if you want the dispenser trap that is. So, on the back of this here, we put a torch. A bit of redstone underneath, a block, a torch on that. And then we put we drag this up uh put a repeater here and put it in like that so now we just have to lead this to the to the door here and to that we're going to uh, well I'm gonna do a longer pulse than because we don't want it to just be a button pulse you could be stuck in there then we want it to be a longer pulse so it gives you a a bit more time to get out if you get the code right. So put repeater here, repeater here, four ticks, repeater here, two ticks. Redstone along like this. Repeater here, repeater here, repeater here, all on full delay. Block here, and a bit of redstone here. So now, if we've got the code right, which we have, and we press the button, door will open. Whoop. Oh, that was quite weird. Don't know what happened there. Oh, got to say, put some redstone. Uh, put a block here. Got to mention that. And uh, so if we press it, it'll open for quite a while. An acceptable amount of time, I think. So now, after you've gone through and got it correct, we want the or incorrect as well. We want the code to reset for the next person. That's the reason we have buttons and not levers. So um. I'll show you how to do that now. Right, so come over to this torch here, the one on the back of the button. Block here. And drag it across here, like so, up until the last torch. Then for each one of these, put one in. So stay the same for that. One in for this one. And then same like that. Redstone here. Here. Then two repeaters on the full delay. Then redstone for the rest of it. Torches on the side of each of these, and that will reset it. So if we, when we press this, this will be deactivated. It will deactivate all these. Well, activate all these torches, and all these torches will reset all of this. So it will be the same as pressing this on each button. So if we just check that. Now. Is that the right code? I don't know. It will just reset anyway. As you can see, it turns all on those torches and resets them all. Now I'll be showing you how to wire up, uh, well how to get an output for when you get it wrong. Right, so it comes to the back of your code here, block here, repeater going into it. A uh, repeater going into a block that has a torch on it, then a block on top of that torch, and a torch coming off this side. Then we come back to the but button over here, well the torch behind the button, put a repeater on that block there. And that going into a, oh, that going into a block there, and then redstone along here up until you meet that block and then a repeater there put if you need more repeaters it's alright just to put them in here um, so that checks if you've got it wrong if you have the incorrect code this torch will light up and now I'm going to show you how to do the dispenser trap if you want to do a different kind of trap then just uh, this is just the output, um, not that block, sorry. This here will be the output. So you just need to wire this up to whatever trap you want.
I'll show you how to do the dispenser trap now. I'll build the actual trap now and then do the timings for it later. So dig out a free uh free trench here, torches underneath, and then a block on top, and I forgot to get dispensers ready. So you get your dispensers and place them on there like that. Uh, place three blocks like that, redstone on each of them, and then two blocks like, yep, like that, and then like so. Put a repeater going into here, and a repeater coming out of here. Get stick a sticky piston, and then we do the rapid pulser that I showed in a previous tutorial. So just two pieces of redstone dust there and there. Two repeaters like that. This one on two ticks and two pieces of redstone there. So when this gets activated by a redstone signal, there'll be a rapid pulse here and this will send uh, fire arrows really fast. Now I'll build, well, hollow out here and build the monostable circuit underground. As you can see here, I've hollowed out a 7x8x2 by by hole for our monostable circuit underground. So, to activate, this is going to come off of the incorrect code. So, if you come to this bit here and do this, torch there, a repeater here because I'm guessing you're going to have your wall like this continuing on. So that can pass through here. A block underneath that with redstone and then comes out like so. Now what you need to do is redstone like this. Oh, no. Like that, like that. Block here. Torch on it. With some dust going into another block with a torch on that. A repeater there, a, oh, a block here, and then a piece of redstone dust there. You don't actually need this repeater here, sorry, I forgot. Right, so this is a RS Norlatch, and now we're just going to turn it into a monostable circuit by having repeaters coming out like this on full delay. All the way up until this wall where you can have redstone then come up two more redstone and then coming back and now the output these two connected together and now what we want from those is to come out go oh sorry hmm yeah right these to go into a block here with a torch on it. So then goes into a, uh, two lines like that, which goes into a block, uh, into a repeater, into a block that has a torch on it. So now you can see that, well, now I'll show you that if we get this wrong, it'll complete the circuit here. This redstone line will go all the way around, turn this off, and go back. And then deactivate this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope to see um, people utilizing this maybe on our server. That'd be nice to see actually. Uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Did you like the personal message? <laughs> no, I haven't got it. It sucked my balls. <laughs> <laughs>